Welcome to the Squared Circle, uh, wrestling's past, present and future here on podcast. My name is Andy Evans and we're back with a very brief, very quick Squared Circle because a lot has happened in the world of professional wrestling, most notably in the world of the World Wrestling Federation over the past 24 hours. So we want to touch base and let you know all about what has been going on. But before we do that, if you want to let your voice be heard on social media and be a part of this conversation then all you need to do is head over to our social media. So that's Facebook and Instagram at Retro Chat Podcast. You can tweet us at Retro Chat Pod. Email in, let us know what you think of all of the shenanigans that are going on in the WWE right now at retrochatpodcast at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe and like the channel here on YouTube, Retro Chat Podcast UK. And also watch us on social me uh, on audio on spotify and uh, we're all good podcast star all you need to do is search for the retro chat podcast okay so uh the big news this week as part of the news line has come out from wwe and it's because the board of the wwe are reportedly investigating an alleged secret three million dollar settlement which was agreed by Vince McMahon to a departing employee, and this is according to the Wall Street Journal. Now, the backstory for this is quite intriguing because McMahon allegedly had an affair with this individual, according to the documents that have been received by the board. The agreement bars the now former employee, who was hired as a paralegal in 2019, from speaking about the alleged affair, and this person also can't say anything disparaging about McMahon himself. So, effectively, it's a hush agreement. Uh, It's a silencing agreement, wanting to keep them quiet. Now, the investigation by the board kicked off back in April and has expanded into other non-disclosure agreements that involve various misconduct claims made by other former WWE female employees about both Vince McMahon and Johnny Ace, John Laurinaitis, who's WWE's head of talent relations. The report also states that they could not determine how many previous agreements were being scrutinized. So this goes to make you wonder, how often did this happen, if it happened at all? The report also states that board members learned about the $3 million agreement through a series of anonymous emails from someone who said that this former WWE paralegal was their friend. One of the emails stated that McMahon increased the woman's salary from $100,000 to $200,000 after beginning a sexual relationship with her and that Vince gave her like a toy, direct quote, to Laurinaitis. A quote from an email to the board said, and we quote, my friend was so scared, so she quit after Vince McMahon and lawyer Jerry paid her millions of dollars to shut up. Now, Jerry is WWE lawyer Jerry McDevitt, who also then told the Wall Street Journal that the former paralegal hadn't made any claims of harassment against McMahon and that WWE didn't pay any monies to her on her departure. And it kind of goes on because... I'll try that again. I'm so in shock by the news. And it carries on because not only have all of the news sites, including Wrestling News Source, who um, were using uh, some of their their words for this. So thank you to Ben Karen for that. But Fightful Select received an anonymous comment from female talent about Laurinaitis. It said, I'd rather get all my sent to me in a trash bag when I get fired than have to deal with him. And neither of these are good options. Laurinaitis was appointed the WWE Head of Talent Relations in 2021, and at the time, it was reported to not be a popular decision among female talent. Now, bear in mind, Johnny Ace had already been with the company before and was released. Fightful Select have been told that they expect Laurinaitis will be fired from his position, with sources speculating he is being set up as the latest full guy for Vince. So just like British politics... Uh, and Partygate, isn't it? But um, I don't know who's worse, Boris or Vince. Now, during the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer, the creator of the Wrestling Observer newsletter, noted the reaction from WWE talent concerning situation. And effectively, what he's saying is they're all in the same boat. They know nothing and they're naturally asking questions. He goes on to say that the talent didn't know 
Talon didn't know anything at all. This all hit them the same time it hit us. They don't really know what to make of it. They're all asking questions and the same questions that we are all asking. And it was on that same edition of Wrestling Observer Radio that he noted that news of the investigation broke after the US stock market had closed on Wednesday, so there was no immediate impact. The big thing is, and and this broke today, he says, it broke after the stock market closed. How the stock market reacts, and this story was huge. I mean, it's not just some wrestling story, it was covered by every major outlet almost immediately. All the big business outlets, it broke on the business side, so it will be interesting. Now, he carried on talking about what the stock was like in terms of WWE, and he says that the stock has actually been doing very, very well. Um, And it's been going well, even in a very uncertain economic times, which we are all in. He goes on to explain more, saying that the money is guaranteed and the profit margin is all guaranteed, which isn't the case with most companies these days, where, you know, cutbacks and consumer spending can hurt the revenues and profits of a lot of companies. And with the WWE, I suppose a company could default, but essentially their revenues are guaranteed for the next several years. So it's a very safe investment. And it's a guarantee that there's no way this company won't be super, super profitable. So really the question is, would they miss Vince if he was fired from the board? Now, bear in mind, this is a publicly traded company. Vince is not the owner anymore. He is the COO, CEO of the company. But one thing they do need to look at is if they remove Vince and the damage would that it potentially would cause but if he goes on to say on wrestling observer with the stock if there's a reaction to be in the stock being one of the things obviously there's going to be uncertainty about the future of vince mcmahon number one there may be pressure from the outside whether it's sponsors or whatever regarding vince now the loss of vince whether this is good or bad running the company the reality is that in the business world certain vince has a reputation of being the guy And the feeling is that if there was no Vince, there would be great uncertainty of the stock. Now, it certainly wouldn't be as bad as it would have been um, if Vince had lost a couple of years ago. It wouldn't be as catastrophic. Because whether there is Vince or whether there's no Vince, the revenue is guaranteed. So it's not like back in the days of the steroid trial where Vince was gone that would be the WWE gone as well. Their money is safe. So really, would it make a difference if Vince was no longer um, part of the WWE? You've got to ask that question. Now, the other thing that's kind of come out, which is really interesting, is the fact that Vince and Linda are actually no longer together. They've been married for more than 50 years. Dave Meltzer has noted that while they are still technically married, they are no longer together. And technically, uh, he goes on to say they're married. I mean, they haven't been together in a long time and they both recently sold their Stanford penthouse. So is this something that is also playing into the the fold? How many affairs has Vince had? What is the background to this? We're going to find out, I'm sure. Now, the other interesting thing comes in terms of Stephanie, because it was only a few weeks ago that Stephanie McMahon quit the WWE, taking an extended leave of absence. She was then buried by Vince in a circle inside the WWE. She is on the board of directors still, and she knew about this investigation. So did that play a part in Stephanie's decision to leave the company? We don't know, and I don't think we are ever going to know, but it certainly makes you think. The other question is Shane McMahon. How much did he know? How much does Triple H know about this whole affair? Where is this going to end up? I genuinely don't know, but you've got to ask the question. With the rumours of WWE being sold for a number of years, is this something now that is likely to be on the cards? And if so, who is going to be the one that takes over the company? Could it be NBC Universal, who have got the rights? Could it be Fox? Could it be the House of Mouse? We already know that Disney 
have secured some broadcast rights for the WWE Network. Could it be a total outsider? And this is a report that I've heard recently where potentially it could be the Khans. So Tony Khan and his father. Now, if they purchased the WWE, they would really own the monopoly in professional wrestling. Would that be good? I don't know. But it would be interesting to see what the wrestling landscape is going to look like in the next few years. It's also making you wonder, did Vince know this was coming out? Was all of the releases trying to make a way to get more money to stay with the company for this inevitable thing? Were the multiple releases because of paying off hush-hush agreements? I don't think we're ever going to know. But it is going to be interesting to follow the story over the next few weeks. And we will, of course, keep you updated on the Squared Circle um, as soon as we know any more. <sighs> what a week in professional wrestling. Money, 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 if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Everybody's got a price for the million dollar man. And everything's got a price tag on it. And this show, the Squared Circle, has been bought by the million dollar man. <laughs> Some might cost a lot. Now, the other big news story coming out of WWE involves this lady that you can see on screen, the woman formerly known as Sasha Banks. And it's been reported that Sasha Banks has been quietly released from the WWE. And that's come from Wrestling Inc.'s Raj Girl, who revealed that um, she got the source from a good source backing. So for now, we have to assume it's legit although as yet not been confirmed anywhere, including the WWE. So Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out of the WWE several weeks ago during a raw broadcast due to creative differences. Sasha's contract was reportedly expiring soon, although Naomi's, there's no word on if she has also been released. Banks has been one of the most prominent women on the WWE roster since signing with the company in 2012 and joining the main roster in 2015. Now the speculation moves towards her signing with All Japan, uh, New Japan, All Elite Wrestling, Impact, she's expressed desire to go to Japan. So is that going to be somewhere she is going to go? We don't know, but interesting. Sasha Banks gone from the WWE. Vince McMahon, he's in hot water. He's being investigated. Lots more happening. Uh, right here in the world of professional wrestling. I mean, we haven't even covered AEW Road Rager from last night. We're not going to be covering that now. This is a quick one just to give you the updates. Vince McMahon and Sasha Banks. And I really want to hear from you. What do you think about what is happening in the world of professional wrestling? Social media is on screen. Facebook, Retro Chat Podcast. Tweet us at Retro Chat Pod using the hashtag back in time. Email me, retrochatpodcast at gmail.com or like and comment on this video and we will use them on the next episode of the Retro Chat Podcast and also right here on The Squared Circle. That's it for now. That's it for me. I will see you all very soon. Until then, take care. Goodbye. See you soon. Take care.